Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrapping Irish video and we're about to start working on the powder to um, get rid of as much of the waste powder as I can to hopefully the stuff that's not containing the gold. So we're going to do it by, um, as you can see, I have the buckets lined up and I have a hose ready. So we're going to do it by gravity, uh, using water, uh, gravity. So hopefully um, when I put this in, add the water, stir it around, leave it 30 seconds, pour off into the next bucket what's left and hopefully the gold material will start to fall to the bottom. So we'll do that a lot of times and we'll work our way along until we have the best stuff in bucket one, next best stuff in bucket two, next best in bucket three, and then the last bucket will contain uh, hopefully just no gold but just um, we'll, all, we'll test it just to be on the safe side at the end um, but we'll check to see there may be silver in it there may be uh, other metals in there but we'll we'll run a little test and see if there's any gold in the last bucket of stuff so as always um, safety first so have my gloves and also because we're dealing with this fiery fine powder I'll have the mask on as well so I'm going to put the mask on now um, <clears throat> let me do that first Okay, so we have our mask on for the dust. Next, I'm going to get my gloves on. So we'll put the gloves back on. Uh, <laughs> so we don't even breathe in that very fine dust. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I have, of course, a rod for stirring it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to Pour the powder in here, we'll add water, we'll stir it up and we'll let gravity start to do its thing. So oh, completely empty. A lot of powdery dust coming out. Got our water. Probably fill it halfway. Okay, we're going to just give it a stir up because you can see it hasn't got all the way to the bottom to the powder so we want to make sure the water is getting all the powder into suspension Okay, so I think that should be nearly enough water to get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it. Let it sit for approximately 30 seconds after I stir it and then pour it off. So then what's left settled at the bottom should be the better material. And we'll do it a few times and we'll keep bringing it down to end up with a very, well, not a very small amount, a smaller amount. So we just mix this. Ok, 
okay leave it about 30 seconds Okay, that's about 30 seconds. I might have to leave it a bit longer than that, but for the moment we'll start with 30 seconds. And that should start to let the material settle to the bottom. And we'll just pour off Okay, you can see in here, well, I don't know if you can see in there, but there is a layer of mud left in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash that a bit more water, letting that settle down a bit more, pour that off so there'll be less, a little bit more settling in here, and so on, so on. So we're going to do that a few times, and um, eventually, hopefully end up with really good material in this white bucket better next best material next best material next best material and so on i might have more buckets added as time goes on um but we'll pull back the camera and let you see what i'm doing Okay guys, so uh, that kind of gives you an idea of that speeded up video I just done there, that part of it. Gives you an idea of what I'm doing. So I'm still going to have to do a lot more yet because as you can see this is the material we've got in here now left on the first bucket. So it has gone down a good bit. And um, we'll have a look at the second bucket later and stuff like that. So I'm going to carry on doing this. Um, but it looks like it looks like gold down there, but it's not gold I'd say, that's copper. That you can see uh, some of them grains of copper I'd say doesn't really look like gold um, but we'll we'll um, endeavor to carry on and um, when I'm, whatever material I get in bucket one and bucket two I'm just going to put back into one container and that'll be the stuff I'm going to process first and then uh, the other stuff in the other bucket um, we'll, we'll let it all settle out and um, 
work with that. So I'm going to carry on doing this. It's going to take another while yet to do this to get this to what I want. Uh, but this gives you an idea of what I'm doing. And again, I'm not going to throw any material away. The very last bucket of material I put into a big bucket like this, let it settle overnight. And um, but sure, anyway, look, we'll come back when I get to that stage. So um, I'm going to carry on there and um, we'll come back when I get to the next stage. Okay guys, so I have the first lot drying out and as you can see, the second bucket, it has all settled. So I'm gonna pour this off, dry out this material as well and um, see what we've left with. As it may run this material a second time, I'm not sure. Will I run it again or not? But um, so we'll go and have a look at the dried material now because I'll have dried off the first lot anyhow and we'll hopefully have the second lot dried off and we'll see what it's like. Okay guys, so I have um, dried out the, from bucket one and bucket two, um, this is what the material I have, and from the buckets three and four, this is the material I've ended up with, and then I have what was left in the last bucket drying out at the moment, but what I wanted to uh, show you guys was, um, this is from the first bucket, um, and second, mainly the first and second bucket, um, but the material if you notice, still contains magnetic filings in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo that to try and get out as much of the magnetic um, bits and pieces as I can so that the um, acid isn't wasted, as much acid isn't wasted uh, dissolving uh, metal filings and stuff like that. Now I'm not sure because most of this is metal that's in here like iron um, that's in there. Um, I'm presuming that most of the gold will probably be in the second one. Um, again, when I run this, you can see there is a little bit of foil, files coming out, metal filing, but not as much as there is in the first bucket. Uh, but I will also do the same on this to um, get rid of them little bits of foil as you see. So I'm going to do that and then what I'll probably do end up doing is putting these two together after I've removed as much of the metal as I can and this is where the gold I presume is going to be between these two buckets. Uh, we're going to get away in and see what we have and um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to redo this again, get rid of all the bits of metal that's still in here and um, we'll come back and we'll see how much metal we ended up getting out of them even though this was done in the previous video of this series, it still has more metal in there that needs to be removed. So I'm gonna go and do that now, and uh, we'll come back when I have that done. Okay guys, so uh, let me straighten this camera up a bit. We have um, finally got through all that, dried it all out, uh, removed all the, um, the bits of metal I could get out of it, so we have this stuff in here is the one that contains the uh, metal, bits of metal, magnetic stuff. So, as you can see, it is um, just very, there is some dust still in there, but um, for what could be in there, I'm not going to waste any acid on it, I don't think. It's not worth for the bit of dust. Uh, so that's what we got in there. Um, so let's see what the weights are. So we're going to set this to zero. So zeroed. So this was from the first two buckets. So you can see there's a lot of like glass shiny bits, but the metal has been removed. So, and as you can see the dust isn't really rising. So it's very heavier dust. It's not like a powder. And we have just over a pound in weight of that, so 1.05 pounds in there. So we'll put that back in its container. So that was from the uh, first bottle, our first load. Um, okay, so. So just over a pound in weight. Then on the next one, from the next couple of buckets after that, was this material here. So again, hopefully there will be some gold in this material. Again, we're getting a little bit more dust out of it, as you can see. And again, 
just over a pound, 1.2. So that was 1.05, so 1.2 on this one. So we'll just put it in there. And then the last material, so this was supposed to be in the last bucket. This is the really poor quality stuff. And as you'll see, we got a lot of dust. It's very caked together. And we have a pound of that. There's still a little bit of stuff in one of the buckets out there, but I don't think there's anything really going to be in it because it was one more bucket after this last one that I've done. I decided to get, go again with some of the stuff and um, refine it out a bit further, or not refine it, but um, grade it out a bit further. So this is the tree that I'll be working with. Well, this one, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just run a test bit on that, but rather than waste a lot of acid on it. So this one and this one are the two main ones that I think should contain the gold bearing material. So them two together, because again, uh, what was it, 105 and 120. So um, we don't need that because I haven't zeroed it out for Wayne. Um, so we're just over two, two and a, two and a quarter pounds of uh, material there to use the acid on. Um, hopefully we'll get some silver and hopefully we we'll get some um, gold out of it. This last batch then, what am I going to do with this stuff? Um, I'm going to take a sample of it, run it through the acid, check it for um, precious metals and um, if it comes back positive, we'll run the whole lot. But if it doesn't come back positive for the sample I take, then there's no point wasting acid on the rest of it. So we'll take a, a, a sample of maybe 30 grams of it or something like that, uh, run it through a little bit of acid, check to see if we get any positive for gold bearing material or precious metal material. If we do, then we can run the lot. If we don't, then it's not going to be ran. It's just going to be disposed of. Um, so that's what I've got to work with. So these are the, the two containers I'll be working with to start off with. And um, we'll see, did I waste my time completely on that um, eBay buy? Or did we get some material, more gold to add to what we've already got from it? to at least try and break even, if not make a bit of a profit. But with the price of gold at the moment, I sh if there's gold bearing material in there, we should make a profit on the buy. But we'll have to wait and see. So thanks for watching. Can't do the acid work at the moment because the weather is just against me, but we will get to the acid work at some stage. So thanks for watching this series so far. Thanks to anyone that subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And until the next one, keep safe and um, keep on looking for that gold. Hopefully it's in there somewhere. So thanks for watching, guys. Be safe and um, see you on the next one.